Hi Nina. Big response to come away from from Lewis with a point. You must have been pleased as a, as a group how how you finished the game. Yeah, definitely. I think we showed the character that we've got in the squad um, in order to do that. You know, it is a hard away game to go to, um, and I think other teams in the league will drop points there. So for us to come away with a point um, after not the greatest show of ourselves in the first half, um, we have to be happy with that. Yeah. Show some resilience as well, which is going to be huge, isn't it, as the season goes on? Oh, 100%. I think there's no easy um, games in this league at all, um, even more so than in previous years. So for us to um, show that early on in the season, it just gives us that belief as a, as a group that what we're doing is right and um, that we can go into any game believing that we can win and at least get points from them. So I think that will be a huge, um, a huge bonus for us. And a reminder as well that you just can't let those standards slip at, at any point. Oh, definitely not. Yeah, I think, like I said, every game in this league is there to either be won or lost. Um, and it is a very close league due to the fact that there aren't too many teams in the league. So I think every point is a mu uh, every game, sorry, is a, is a must-win game. So um, it, we can't really underestimate any team in this league. Um, and yeah, it, it's good that as a group we, we've got that resilience and we can build on that. I suppose that's highlighted by the fact that nobody at this stage has won all four of the games and that people will take points off each other. Yeah, and, and the table moves around so easily um, that it, it really can vary so much week to week. So um, us as a team, we, we want that and I think we, we're very good at um, capitalising off that. We showed that last season, we were kind of top half more or less all season. Um, so I think this year we're, we're looking to build on that um, and like I said, come away with points every week um, that we play. A couple of wins and a, a draw already. You must be overall reasonably pleased with the starts of the season that you've made. Yeah, I think so. I think um, we were disappointed with the start the first game, obviously, like not coming away with a win, but um, again, to show that resilience to bounce back the week after against what is a difficult team in Durham um, and then build on that in the weeks following, um, it puts us in good stead for the rest of the season. Um, uh, and again, it shows that, you know, we're never, we're never beaten really and it, we don't really get phased too much when we don't perform as well as we should do. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're looking forward to the next game. Your second season with the club, just how much are you are enjoying your time with the Blades women? Oh, I love it. So, like, from coming down south, I just love Sheffield, I love the club, um, I love Redders and, and the team. So, all the girls have always had my back and, and so has Redders. Um, and I'm looking to push that this season and really show why I'm here and, and what I'm about. And this Sunday is a good uh, example of that. And enjoying a good battle with, with Beth and Davis for, for that number one spot. What's your kind of relationship with her like? Yeah, we get on well. We're, we're, I think we're two different keepers, but we definitely get on well. Um, and we've got two different styles, I would say. But um, she's been great to come in. She's pushed me on things that I should improve. And she, I've pushed her on things she should improve. And that's how it should be in the keeper union. Um, but yeah, she's a great girl. Um, and we've got a good battle going on. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that progresses over the season. I imagine by the fact that you're talking to us that you're probably likely to play at Durham this weekend. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I'm looking forward to the weekend. It's, it's going to be a good game. Um, like I said, I'm looking to show why I'm here and what I'm about and what, I, what the value I bring to the team. So um, yeah, I'm confident and I'm, I'm ready to go. How are you feeling about the, the League Cup as a group and, and what that brings? Because there's some exciting ties to come. And I know this weekend's going to be a good game anyway, but some WSL sides to come as well. Yeah, so we got Man United Villa, uh, not Villa, sorry, Everton. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be um, exciting to, to play those top teams and have a look at where we're at um, as a squad, as a club. Um, but any game's a big game, like I said. So, um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how we do against those teams. We didn't do too badly last year. Um, I think the group's um, a little bit more difficult this year, maybe, but... That's the luck of the cup, isn't it? So, yeah, we'll be looking forward to um, testing ourselves against them oppositions. You've already beaten Durham already this season. How much confidence does that give you going into this one? Oh, definitely. Um, like We're looking forward to the game on Sunday. It's, it's always a battle playing Durham. I've played them for a few years. I know what they're about. We know as a, as a group what they're about. It'll be a battle. It'll be a, probably a close game. Um, but... I, I think we dominated the last game um, and we'll be looking to do that again going into next uh, this week, sorry. Um, and, yeah, we're, we're looking forward to it. It's, it's going to be close, but, um, 
like I said, we can't underestimate any game in this league, so um, it's going to be good. And in terms of the league, you are in and around those top spots at the minute. Just how much of an achievement would it be if you're still there come the end of the season? Yeah, that's the aim. Um, I think, historically, Chef, we've always been uh, top half, like I said, at least. Um, so that is the aim. We should um, be aiming for that. We've got the players to do it. We've got the quality to do it. Um, I think it will be a huge achievement, given that we're probably one of the only part-times in the league um, still. You know, there's a fair few full-time teams below us at the moment, and that's the, the statement we're looking to make, that um, it's about the quality we've got in the squad in order to do that, because it's difficult. Um, um, but, but yeah, that's, that's the aim, and we'll, we'll hopefully get there towards the end of the season. Exciting times, really, in the women's game at the minute. Have you enjoyed the start to the WSL season? Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's so open this year, I think. Like, uh, there's a few teams that could win it this year, as opposed to maybe previous years. And, um, yeah, it's exciting to see. And, and hopefully, um, as, as the championship grows as well, that will only feed in to bettering the WSL as well. So, um, hopefully, that's what, what happens. And that's going to be a crucial part, though, isn't it? That essentially the pyramid goes with the WSL, because you've already mentioned, obviously, Sheffield United women still one of the few part-time clubs at championship level. If the women's game is to grow, the whole thing has to kind of go at the same time, or th there may well be, you know, part of that game lost in terms of the development of young players, etc. Yeah, definitely. I think, um, you know, in order to be able to challenge in that league, you, you obviously need to be full-time. I hope, hopefully, that that's the way that the FA are looking to go with the championship too. Um, so that there isn't that disparity between teams and between leagues. Um, but, you know, with the growth of the, the Euros, especially on the back of that, um, hopefully the FA can see the benefit and, and the, the leagues can see the benefit of um, improving the um, investment in teams and in leagues. So, yeah, hopefully this year, next year, um, we'll be full-time across the board. That's the aim. Brilliant. Good luck this weekend. Thanks, Nina. Thank you. What do, you, what do you like about Sheffield? As a, as a city? Yeah.